just walking to Radio Row here. I had to pick up my media credential. It's like going from St. Louis to Kansas City uh, in between these two different places, but this is great. Just picked up the combine credential. Another year in Indianapolis, another day building towards the draft. Meeting with the team side at the, uh, the hotel. It's been kind of fun, but I'm looking forward to seeing all, uh, all the PFFers we brought today. A lot of them. Dude, a lot of PFFers. We're a presence. Beautiful day out in Indianapolis, by Beautiful. The way. Can't complain about that very much. Uh, How's the drive getting in? Good. Only two hours. It's kind of a perfect, uh, perfect event. Any small stuff in here? Am I smarter than this situation? Who knows? Who knows? You good? All right. Thank you. All right. All right. Boom. Oh, look at it. Oh, it's nice and dark in here. Hold still. Gotcha. Thank you. Nice and dark in here. Welcome. Well, it's like I might congratulate somebody here. Mr. Pauls, congratulations. I'm Eric Eager from PFF. I think hey, we, we met uh, yeah. last year when Zoom we were on the Chiefs. Yeah. yeah. So, congratulations on the, the new gig, man. That's Thank great. You. Appreciate it. Yeah. Welcome into Radio Row. Love to see it here. Back again. The last time we were here was a co pre COVID. 2020 pre COVID was the last time we all came here to Indianapolis. This is where NFL Network set up one of their setups, NFL Network, up and down here. It's a big event for obviously the NFL. This bleacher access you can see here, kind of exclusively for NFL and NFL teams, agents, etc. What they're doing there is watching the bench press. And right in front of, Radio Row here. Radio Row is um, where all the media is set up. This is all 32 teams. The Dolphins right here. Raiders obviously set over there. The two New York teams who have two top 10 picks each, both in attendance. We're going to be talking with the Giants a ton all out this week. And right now, actually, on PFF, as we walk up here, sitting down with Bucks GM Jason White. Excited to talk to him, obviously, about the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. What are they doing at quarterback? What are they doing? Is Tom Brady gone? What are we going to do? I'm excited to see what Jason has to say. We were talking off camera. You've probably gotten a million Tom Brady questions already. But I feel like we, we have to start there. You know what I mean? Tom saying never say never on his podcast. Did that raise an eyebrow for you? Um, you know, we'll always leave a light on for a guy like Tom Brady. So I have no information to say that he is going to unretire. We've got to make plans moving forward. But until those plans come into fruition, you know, we'll see. Yes, I have a question for you. Yes, yes, yes. Are you the best quarterback here? In Indianapolis right now, I'm yeah. the best quarterback. Including Carson Wentz. Including Carson Wentz. Okay. All right. I, the, the Colts should trade know. for me. I think that's what I'm trying what's to get your at. What's your price, though? What can you be had? Well, it's... Uh, is your salary negotiable? Or are you my salary pay? is negotiable. I think they should... I think I'm worth two first-round picks. What would be what would what would be your would it be vertical your best um, event? Oh, three cones, not even fucking close. Yeah. So I'd be fucking chopping that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have probably the best three cone here. I think you okay. could, you'd do the best in pass sets. Oh no. <laughs> Have we told you that story? Oh. They got back from the, the casinos feeling good. Yeah. And then uh, Who did you challenge? Tresh challenge said he could beat me in a pass rush one on one. <laughs> and I literally just took a fucking just body back the hell out of the <laughs> it was Tr Tr Tresh has no moves. Yeah. Yeah. Tresh thing, yeah. Tresh was all fucking. Tresh tried to probably get an inside day. move and gave up the chest and just got absolutely panted. Remember when you challenged me with a pass rush or something? Yeah. I don't even know what yeah. I can do. I can do one right here. You can probably do right, 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 something. Right. I think I'm going to get to that line. Uh, this is fucking wait, 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 wait. What line do you think? That line of this, this line? No, further. This no. line? No, further. <laughs> you think you're going to reach I can get there. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. I don't know the four. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not oh, bad. Oh, 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 oh. It's not terrible. Not bad. Oh, I mean, not bad. I beat Seth. You beat me? Yeah. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Wow. <laughs> okay, so okay, my asking price has gone down from two first to one yeah. first and a third <laughs> next year. And that's why you don't work out at the combine. <laughs> Over here, the podium access. They're actually kind of did a really good job with how they set this up this year compared to previous years. It's a lot more... Uh, Glitz and glamour. McCarthy was just up here talking a lot, and also we had Nathaniel Hackett. He kind of avoided a lot of the Rodgers questions, which is not what you love to see. We're hoping to get some Rodgers stuff out of Hackett, but uh, still excited about you know getting more of the Kelvin Colbert from the Steelers, Brandon Bean from the Bills. It's just really getting this information from them as we can. <laughs> Getting more information from them as we go. I think uh, this is like the only time, right, in the offseason where you get these guys, get these guys legitimately in front 
of media. The podium access is interesting. They have, they have you know, number one podium is where the top players are always going to get. They have Aiden Hutchinson, AK Kwan, who all lined up at these top podiums. These first four are where you're really going to see so much of the top players. And then here, this is where it's all live on YouTube, right? These cameras are up to get the player access up on YouTube for these team sites and all that stuff. We also have CBS Sports, Sirius XM Radio, which will be on as well. It's just really, again, it's a culmination of an event, right? For people, you know, to peel back the kimono or peel back the curtains a bit, it's such a massive opportunity for these media outlets to get access to players and knowledge on these draft prospects that you just won't get again. A round of applause, everyone. Anybody? Round of applause, anyone? No? Uh, today, I'm excited to announce Manscaped launched their ultra premium, it's a registered trademark, collection. Believe it or not, it's for you, for your not so private parts. I'm talking about a leveled up hygiene routine with your favorite manly scent. What's your favorite manly scent? I'll tell you what my actual favorite smell is. All right. My, my favorite manly smell. Uh -huh. This is gross. I, I get it. But like, there are times when I, when I do like the smell of my own farts. I, I, That's a take. That's a you, take. <laughs> you, fart, you fart in the shower and with the steam going. So you just like waft in? I just waft. <laughs> okay, I waft okay. in the, it's a good smell in my nice. opinion. That was, uh, I really revealed a little too much about myself in that one. People are not here that. first. Ultra premium manscape <laughs> for the people who love shower parts. I just think I just think your I don't I don't really want to like your 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 skin is like exfoliating and it's like expanding. The pores are expanding because you're in the shower. It's like a hot shower. So the farts really like get in there. So you're absorbing you're absorbing it like through your nostrils a lot better than a normal fart. And I think that's it's kind of fun. <laughs> Where is that? The combine isn't like the marquee event. The 40-yard dash obviously gets all the glitz and the glamour, but it, this year I do think it will be special to set it up now, making sure it's regulation, a lot of this data, how strong are these guys, how much are they throwing up. It's big for offensive linemen, big for defensive linemen, but I'll tell you what, you have the schedule here. Be on the lookout for when these linebackers come on Saturday. There's a guy of Leo Schnell, the Wisconsin Badgers, who can throw up 40 reps. He's done 18 reps at 315, 40 reps at 225. That's the one I'm looking forward to. Quarterbacks usually don't bench. A lot of, a lot of the running backs won't bench, but you get to see how strong these guys are as the week progresses. It's it's going to be a sweet event. <laughs> these motherfuckers said we're going to shoot right now, and he's spending time with Mad. Big time. What the fuck? You're big time in this, huh? Getting a quick Madden game in? Don't be mad that don't be mad that I know people are mad and you don't. I don't care. Don't be mad. You don't walk over. You sound like you care. I guess it is. You sound like you care. Tell me. David Bell, Purdue University. I'm not benching by choice, and I will not be benching at my pro day. Traylon Burks, University of Arkansas. I will not be benching by choice, but I will be benching at Pro Day March 9th. Jahan Dawson, wide receiver Penn State. I will not be benching today by choice, and I will be benching at Pro Day. Not benching by choice today, but I will bench in my Pro Day. I won't be benching today. I will not be benching uh, today. I will not be benching today. But... Josh Johnson, University of Tulsa, and I, I will be benching. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go to work. Let's go Lock to work. All the way up. Good. That's smooth. That's it now. That's smooth. Come on. Come on. Help him out. Help him out. Yeah. There you go. There you go. There you go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Make it go. There you go. Make it go. Here we go. We got to fight. Find him. Find him now. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Here we go. I can't. I remember when I was even in the like in my like mid twenties when I was in the best shape of my life. 
I was like, all right, well, let me see what I can do. Two twenty, like, let me just put it on, and not one, not one. Yeah. I couldn't, I couldn't believe how heavy two twenty five was. I've got long arms, so two twenty five is just a fucking pipe dream. Right? See, I, I separated my AC joints too. So <laughs> oh yeah, that's that's, that's what I was like. I got to like high wood eighties or something. Are you are you doing the daily first and then me or? Yeah, do get get. Do, yeah, do I'll, the, jump do, do the quick I'll jump in. I'll jump in. Okay, so we got Deontay Lee, co-host of Two High Podcast. Yes. What do you what do you make of the week so far? Well, it's funny, you know, last night being my first night in, that was my first takeaway. Is like you hear about all of these things, you know, kind of getting into the sports media world where you get to run into all these people or everybody congregates to the same kinds of places. And then you see it and it's like, wow, okay, so now that I have a visual for what that looks like, like this is actually what feels like the entire NFL yeah. in a bar, you know, or in a room or in a hotel. So that part has been kind of, it's been exhilarating for me, you know, it, and it's, I think it just kind of tells the story of a change in perspectives, right? So going from being a player, you know, in, in college, watching the combine and thinking about like, okay, how would I approach this? Or I wonder what this would be like, what that experience is like. And then breaking into the media world and you can only see what you can see. So I don't have, I didn't have a frame of reference for what all of this stuff might look like, but you know, flying in, meeting with all of you guys, kind of going through what our itinerary is, being here, you know, seeing the people that I've seen so far, shaking hands and getting more familiar with people who work in our industry people who work you know for these franchises it, it's been a great process so far man and you know I, I can't wait to continue on and see what the rest of this week looks like <laughs> little club rip right there Pope had no chance dude <laughs> some drills boys yeah, we some drills. Drills. have you ever done any yeah. Yeah. Uh, a little D a little center yeah. Wow. Ooh. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. You got to get under that arm. Yeah, yeah. This is what is it? What do they say under the table? Run under the table, right? Under the table, right? Punch the fireball. It's like a punch press. No, not like an actual fucking punch. <laughs> like a punch press. Hold it. You know you hold it like that. You're supposed, you're supposed to keep your hands inside. Because if the, if the thing's wide, you're slipping off. Like that's the thing. Keep your hands inside. That's the goal. That's the goal. Because if you do a regular pad like this, this is the bad rash. <laughs> you do something like this, it's like no one's, fr no one's framed. It's big. You know, the bad rat shield. You need to be inside. Give me, a, give me a one more punch on the fire. Just gonna shoot out. There. Thumbs, thumbs, thumbs. See the thumbs? Thumbs are key. Technique. Technique. <laughs> Probably the craziest thing I had to do is I walked in uh, one meeting and I had to shoot like basketballs on a on a finny field. That was probably the craziest thing I've had to do so far. What team was that? Um, I don't remember quite what team it was. Uh, it actually, it was the Eagles. It was the Eagles. They, had to, they had to shoot on the mini hoop. Uh, I only made like two out of five, uh, so I'm probably not high up on their board right now. Hello and welcome to PFF Now. We are joined by Philadelphia Eagles head coach Nick Sirianni. I'm sure you heard about what happened this morning. Sam Howell mentions to everybody that they're doing some basketball drills during interviews. I got to well, ask you about... Just, we we weren't yeah. doing like dribbling drills. <laughs> not, I know, I know. Like, <laughs> shooting some hoops. Shooting some hoops. So we, so we, every guy that walks in there, uh, we have him shoot five shots. And so... Hey, listen, we're trying to find every different avenue to, to see what makes this player go, right? And so we're always looking to see what type of competitiveness the guy has, how, what kind of toughness he has, if he loves football, does he have high football IQ, and does he have high character, right? And so if we can get this much out of him shooting and see how serious he takes it or, like, gets pissed or like, – if we get this much, it was worth it, right? And it was fun, it was fun to do. And so – and the other thing it does is it, you know, it, it, it loosens them up a little exactly. bit. They're going through a lot of, like, so, I mean, I, I'd rather them start with a shot than to be like, hey, slap the table, like, tell me about when you were in seventh grade, you did this, right? And so that's kind of the, the thought process with it. Um, you know, I go back to my time in Indianapolis. We, uh, myself and, and Gardner Minshew, uh, we shot baskets together. Nice. And uh, you guys got time for a quick story? Absolutely. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we shot baskets together. And I've told this story before, but we shot baskets together, and uh, we just so happened, obviously, to work with each other last right. year. But, yeah. you know, when he when we shot baskets there, he uh, 
he, I was winning. I'm a little bit better shooter than him. He would tell you that. Um, but I was I was winning the game, and he's in a dress shirt, a tie, and dress pants and dress shoes. He goes, Coach, um, you mind if I pop this shirt real quick? I don't think I can beat you if I have the if I have this dress shirt. I said, whatever. So on uh, Garner's uh, draft, or pardon me, his interview with the Indianapolis Colts, he was shirtless, shooting baskets in our indoor. And so I saw that competitiveness That's of him. Awesome. And you know what's fun? Because it, it, it does – it gives you a little something. It's a little different, yep. and you're just able to talk to the guy and and, and move on from there. So that's that's, that's why. That's the why. Behind Gardner Minshew out there popping his top <laughs> in the interview. That is good stuff. <laughs> Well, what is it? So it's a uh, Canadian tuxedo. What is this? Just well, maybe we should maybe we should take it to the public. You know, uh, maybe there's room for like a poll here. I don't know if I'm I don't know if I'm ready to be exposed. Is I mean, look, my my college roommate called. He wants his jeans and shirt back. This is, you are doing double acid wash. I am, and look, is, I call it a mathematician's exemption. I get to, I get to. <laughs> I'm smart, so I dress like a moron, and you can't say anything about it. What is, if, if double denim is a Canadian tuxedo, what's, what's double, double acid, acid wash? You guys, good for you, God. Luckily, I'll, I'll be able to change acid? before This our podcast party. is electric. It is. Yes, it, it is. is. So the, the acid wash, the double acid wash is just what I did not anticipate when right. I put it on. Did you even, you didn't even know it was double acid wash. How no, do you that's not anticipate thing. Yeah. that you're... Look, I, in the course of human events, you, you, you slough off in certain places. For me, it's the... It's the arc the, of human history bends toward <laughs> double acid wash. There should be a new combine event, which is just like dressing Dressing. Yourself. Oh my... So sad. So this, the the tool has got you know a few different benefits. Mm -hmm. It's a you know for people with neck pain, posture issues, uh, muscle imbalances, right? Yeah, okay. everybody. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. All right. So again, looking athletic. Here, here we go. Tilt forward. Hold back down. I'm not getting sized up here. There you go. So now just try and imagine there's an X there and you're trying to keep the same amount of tension on the band mm -hmm. and just go 360 degrees. Try not to get pulled closer. Right. Keep some tension on the band. Yep. Pull that chin back in. Good. This is good. I thought it was a virtual reality machine when we walked in. So <laughs> I thought I was getting into it. Okay. This is like I spend my whole day um, with the horrible posture, the worst posture that's ever been done in the history of humanity. I'm still like, I'm like not a um, homo sapien. My posture is, is like pre-homo sapien. <laughs> so this is, this is really interesting. Yeah, you can do a lot with this. Yeah, actually. This is impressive. Yeah, that's fucking cool. What do you think? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I can already feel my posture getting better, better already. The I don't second, know what kind of baseline he's working <laughs> off of. The second I get back on the flight going home, oh, yeah. it's all Oh, trust me. As soon as I sit down, my neck is, my chin exactly. is immediately going into my chest to, this, to look at my phone. The second I fall asleep on the plane and wake up, it's, it's, it's a wrap. Back. It's, it's a wrap. Look at this guy. Is he the right? You guys all have lunch together? Just yeah. This one's always cool. This one's the cool. What's our rating? That's all we'll talk about. Uh, you want to hop in? Oh. Gotta get the barber cut thing going. Whoa! Well, I'm taking a graduate course at Notre Dame. That's right. I'm a fellow Golden Domer now. Yeah. I'm a gold, I'm gonna say I'm a Golden Domer. Didn't get to do bookstore basketball, but when I come out of it, Are I'll get a barber. You allowed to take it only one course? Yeah, they they, they, so. they called me and they were, <laughs> it's kind of a weird process. They're like, so what are you actually trying to do? Just trying to take one course to literally like, have this joke on the podcast. It's like gonna be like cut like eight. You told bucks. that to admissions? Yes, yes. <laughs> and then they let me do one course. That just Gosh, shows you how is, is, a piece of the, shit Notre Dame. Is, I was just gonna say that Golden is, Domers is, was this big high thing. Is I Notre Dame literally, that much? I literally Dude, emailed like, them like, "This is what I'm trying to do." Like, yeah, that sounds good. They let a barber in. And uh, <laughs> slave let him in. I think you're being scanned. I think you went to like Notre Dame Academy. Well, or sorry, something. I'm getting a really nice degree. <laughs> All right, that's a wrap from Combine Week. It's been a long four or five days, a lot of content, everything like that. We just packed everything up. So the final guys bench, final guys up at the podium, and. Of course, we're going to have a brand new mock draft, all the rankings, everything for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed all the behind the scenes stuff.